LG's latest flagship. The intriguing new LG G6 just arrived at MWC 2017 with the hopes of smashing the competition and becoming the new catwalk star in the spotlights. Achieving this, however, might not be the walk in the park LG has been imagining. The G6 will have to tackle some serious competitors on the way, with chief among these being the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So how do these two fare? The two devices are pretty similar in terms of design, as they both metal frames complemented by glass up front and back. We admit that the Galaxy S7 is more eye-catchy and sexy due to its curved screen, while the G6 looks a bit boring with its utilitarian design that favors function over form. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. The true highlight of the G6 is that it fits a 5.7-inch display in a body that's smaller than the 5.5-inch Galaxy S7 Edge thanks to the exceptional screen-to-body ratio of roughly 80%. The Porsche Samsung phone also has a relatively large screen for its body, but it can't hold a handle to the G6. The so-called full vision display of the LG G6 comes with a 9 to 18 aspect ratio, which is perfect for up-and-coming Netflix shows and movies shot in a 2 to 1 aspect ratio. The G6 also supports the AGR10 and Dolby Vision standards for better multimedia experience. In the outer corner, the Galaxy S7 Edge still uses a more traditional 9 to 16 aspect ratio, but has the right curves in just the right spots. Both of these Korean superstars are running Android Nougat with relatively streamlined custom skins running on top. Both phones feel snappy and will crunch through any task you might throw at them. LG once again throws two cameras at the back of the G6, one regular and another wide-angle one. The Galaxy S7 Edge is more conservative with a single camera only, but we all know that it's an outstanding performer. So watch out, LG! That was our first look at the G6 and the Galaxy S7 Edge. We're sure that this won't be the last time that these two clash against one another. But that will be a story for another time.